Hello everyone, John Bishop from the Living to Learn channel. Today I'm going to do a little video on modifying the new Pathfinder All Weather Notebook. This is a brand new one, just kind of open it up. What this modification is going to cover is putting a piece of Lexan in between this page and the back so that way one you have something you can hold out and write on without having to try to wedge it up on your hand or get it to where it halfway locks and two it's so you can use your dial in the back without it being all floppy okay so some of the tools you're going to need now understand but this Lexan is about three millimeters thick, or roughly what, three, three point three two inches. You don't want nothing too big for it. This three millimeter will be more than enough. So when you put it in, the book will be solid, but not enough to make it stand up past its spine. So the tools you're going to need is something to cut your Lexan with. Of course, a piece of Lexan is three millimeters, three thirty seconds thick. I have a couple of drill bits that I've picked out. These drill bits are a starter bit and standard bit. Now, this bit is measured by that hole, and I'll show you when I take this off. And then your nail. And our starter bit is what we're going to use to put our nail through the Lexan, the back of the board. So that way we'll have our little hole in it. But what I'm using is a jigsaw, a regular cordless drill, a piece of wood to put it on for bracing. And I'm going to have a file so we can keep the edges off of it and make it nice and round. Now you can cut this size Lexan with a razor knife. All you have to do is score it, run it back and forth, and then snap it off using a brace and then just trim it up so you can do that if you want to if you're limited on a saw the drill you could probably do a rough with a awl out of a back like a swiss army knife or if you just needed a rough one and wanted to just hand make it so let's get started with first the disassembly of the bind now this bind is fairly simple so i'm sure you can see it just got a split in it so when you start getting them getting it took off you're going to do one little hole at a time just like so pulling it to the side okay so that's all you want is this back one off of it see how it's already starting to come loose so all you need to do is go down pulling each one of them to the side It'll come out just like that. So you're not bending nothing, you're not damaging nothing. Don't try to pry it up or anything like that. It will come loose fairly easy. Okay, now you're going to use this as your template because this is going to be a direct fit for what you need. Now, we're going to have a piece of, mine's been cut, I got it for a scrap at work, so I picked this up. But you're going to have one factory cut flat edge, it's going to be very straight. I would advise using that for the closed out edge. Be here, so that way your ruler works real well. So I would put that on there and line it up the best that you can. And you'll only have to make two cuts using a squared edge. See, I'm squared up at the bottom, squared up here. Just take a marker make sure you're square just like that and mark your edge all the way around. Then while you got it here and you're still holding it, go ahead and mark all your holes.
And then what you've got is your template. All right. Now, you can take your saws on your jigsaw, scribe it, just keep scribing until it snaps off both sides. I'm going to actually use my jig and I will cut this out, then pre drill all the holes, and then drill the holes. And why pre drill is when you use any kind of plastic, you can chip it if you try to go fast. Everybody knows that part of it. And it's just for me, it makes it to where if you make a mistake, you can always even it back up. Now, if you've got a punch and you can tap it, you can do it. You can use your nail. Same way. Put your nail on the center of that hole. Lay a little tap mark onto it. Tap, tap all the way down. And you'll have it. So what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to cut this. And we'll go from there. Sorry about the noise. see just follow the line straight in and do the same thing now I'm gonna pause the camera I'll cut the other side out so that way we save time all right guys I'm back now what I went ahead and did was I went ahead and finished cutting it out of course all right and then I've pre-drilled went ahead and drilled every one of my holes on the sides except for the last three well I can show you all what to do with them in the video won't take so long so you take your pilot, put it in your drill, and then all you do is you can take a nail, you can put it on the edge and you can tap it. I know you can use a hammer if you use the side of a file, you can do it. Make sure it's in the center of the hole. When you take those three, take your pilot drill, Get it centered up, line it up, and just drill straight through. Make sure you're on your mark. And now with your pilot drill done, and this one give it a little bit room. Now the reason I use a little bit bigger one is because then whenever your binder moves, you're opening and closing your binder, it's got a little bit of play in it so that way it doesn't bite and set real flat almost at an angle. So we do it for the last three. Do it on both sides, that way it gets all that excess off of it. And all your holes are drilled. We'll cut out. Now we'll use our binder for a guide. Now as you can see, we got a little bit of edges here. The outer edge is real nice and straight. So all I'll do is take these edges, that's what the file's for, and we'll take those edges and round them a little bit. Completely perfect, but something to stop you from hurting yourself, scratching yourself on, and kind of make it look a little better. You do that to all four sides. A lot of this is going to be covered up. Okay. And of course, I thought it was pretty self-explanatory. There's a protective coating on this. A little plastic sheet. Leave that on until you're completely done. I'm pretty sure everybody 
knows why you don't want to scratch it up while you're working on it. Okay. Now with that done, we can install it. So what we'll end up doing is at this point, I usually take this much off of it, but I start from this edge where the holes are and peel it back a little. See that? I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Now if you got anything, little pieces of plastic or little edges on it, go ahead and get it off. Now what we'll end up doing is we'll go backwards and see where your little edges were. Well, that's where we're going to put our stuff back in at. So, try to get it up here and let you see. A little hard to do and get started, but once you get it in, it pretty much links itself through. Hard to do not laying on the table, so overlook it. And all you do is pick your one up at a time and start pushing in. Once you filled them in, make it where you can open it up. Just make sure you roll it around. Now we'll put in our paper. Make sure it's right side up. Do the same thing. This is going to be a lot easier, of course, because it's thinner. Once it's together, give yourself a little bend all the way down the spine in case any of these got bent a little. Alright, and now what you've got is the ability to close it up. been over. But anyways, sorry about that. Now, as you can see, you're all together. But what you have, if I go any further, is now, if I open this book up and I write on it, I can do anything I want to it. It doesn't bend. See that? Now, if I come over here, what that does is it gives me the ability to use this for my compass and to ride on. I'm going to pull everything loose, which you'll see in just a second. Then you'll have a uh, 
space for this and still be able to read all your instructions. Okay? Sound good to you? Sound good to me? I'll peel all this off there. There we go. And then for your center, your center hole, what I'll usually do with it is I'll do the same thing. But I'll open it up and lay it down like so. And then do the one that we use for our nail in the center. Now you have that one hole, you can slide your nail through it, then you just side completely grilled. Alright, and it's a steady board. So it's not going to give. So I hope this helps somebody out and made it seem like you could use it pretty well. As you can see, you still got a straight edge there. It's the other thing I like because it's a factory straight edge, you'll have a factory edge. So I hope that helped out and hope you guys enjoy it.